right guys, it is uh, Tuesday morning. I'm just gonna keep at it. I got a long, full day of pest control. Um, gotta do a couple things for some friends. And then um, some pest jobs as well. So I'll keep you posted. We're coming up on our first mobile home park where we do some mole and gopher trapping. I do see that the first trap is sprung off. That does not necessarily mean that we got one. Uh, do also understand that, um, I, or, I don't know why I made it sound like that. I did have to switch vans in case you guys noticed, but uh, let's see, maybe we got one. I'm not even gonna shut the truck off. You can tell that they've fired when they uh, have the yellow bar right there. Looks like we got one. I can feel the weight. Probably a gopher from the mound. Let's try and wiggle it loose. There we go. There you go. There's a nice pocket gopher for you. Cool. Didn't really catch him on the head, but he's dead now. So go ahead and get a picture of that. I'm actually thinking about changing my business, just doing the wildlife operator license thing and uh, not doing bug spraying anymore because I enjoy this way more and getting too busy with all the plumbing and stuff. Okay, GoPro, stop recording. Um, so yeah, anyway, uh, yeah, just let me know, like, if I can, I'll drop you off stuff, because I'll be around Grant's Pass area, but it's just a matter of, uh, yeah, just today I'm freaking stuck doing a bunch of pest stuff, so, yeah, he called me, like, four times yesterday in, like, ten minutes, so I called him back, but, uh, yeah, anyway, um, hey, I'll give you a call in a little bit. I got to check a couple of gopher traps, and then I'll uh, I'll be uh, free to talk more. All right, later. Bye. Check the second set here. I've been having a real heck of a time trying to catch this guy. There's the river down there, the Rogue River. Doesn't look like that one's triggered. This one is, but I've had a real hard time. Ooh, we might have finally got him. Yes, there we go. Nice clean kill, and that looks like a, that's a pocket gopher. Right on. The reason they call them pocket gophers is because they, uh, they have pockets in the side of their mouth for pushing dirt and whatnot. That one doesn't have real good pockets, but that's them. Cool. This almost looks like one's still in here, but I'm gonna le I'm gonna just flatten it out and see because we did catch that one, so good chance that was it. GoPro, stop recording. So as you guys can see, take that out. Nothing got caught here. I don't even know, good chance that uh, maybe I already trapped this guy and those were just mounds that were left over. So I'm just kind of looking to see if there's any uh, new stuff come up. There was some giant mole mounds over here and I thought I set a trap, but I'm not seeing it. So. Definitely some activity because I flattened all this out. So we'll uh, we'll try and pop one in. I'll show you guys how that happens. GoPro, stop recording. 
Here's the uh, sizing tool that you use for setting the gopher hawk. And you use this part to find where the tunnel systems are at. This bores out the uh, hole for the trap and then the trap goes in and you set it. Okay, so we're gonna feel around. You can see these are the new mounds. I really haven't had much luck probing them. I actually might have found one right here. Nothing there. There's something right here. Not really what I'm looking for. There we go. There's the edge of one. Boom. Then you take your sizing tool and you ream it out. It's usually easy, but in this soil, as it dries out, it's getting harder. So I might have to switch to traps that I use with the shovel. There we go, and you'll feel it when it gets down there. It's nice and loose. And then you set your trap down, make sure it's in good shape. When they come through the tunnel, boom. So we're gonna poke that in. And something that might help that I've liked is I kind of put dirt around it and make sure all the light's blocked out. Okay, we got some towel star mixed up for the eaves and uh, we're just doing a general pest spray here.
All right, so for now, folks, we are wrapping up this one. I sprayed the whole place uh, and treated it for a general pest. Got to write up an invoice. Um, but if anybody's watching this, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Um, I'm Right, guys just love left that bug spraying job um, now I'm gonna go check on a job for uh, ground squirrels it's a friend of ours and uh, I'm gonna try and see if I can set some traps
All right, guys, so I'm at a job pulling some bait stations uh, that were for rats, but you know, one of them got a ground squirrel and the homeowner wanted to take out the bait so that it wouldn't get any more, uh, which is understandable, but uh, ground squirrels aren't protected here in Oregon and they were doing some burrowing. So, you know, even though it got a couple ground squirrels, um, it's probably kind of a blessing in disguise for them, even though, you know, just because they do burrow and then the Norway rats tend to use, they can use those burrows. So I'm going to grab these and I had to spray another house for ants and a couple exteriors. Been busy, but uh, that's the name of the game. And the next job I'm going to it uh, is in Medford, another ant job, but uh, I haven't been able to get a hold of them, so not sure. Food of the service plumber, spuds and chicken. All right. Um, I'm sure if you guys work in the, uh, if any of y'all work in the plumbing service, heating and air, any kind of industry like that, uh, you know how it is. <laughs> So I don't know. It's just kind of one of those things where uh, the 
day is what you make it. I was just a little bit overwhelmed for a while. I don't know why. I mean, it's all the same. But uh, anyways, I'm gonna head back home. Uh, I gotta clean out the back of this work van, um, charge some batteries, and get ready for tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm gonna be doing uh, more plumbing. And uh, you know, if I can help you guys out with some tips along the way, I sure will try. But uh, I'm gonna try to get more and more into doing this video vlogging thing. I feel like maybe uh, it'll help me with some confidence. Um, you know, and it'll also hopefully, hopefully it'll, it'll, uh, help you guys out with some tips on pest control and weed control, dye in your pond. You know, I, we do all kinds of stuff. We live in rural Grants Pass, uh, Oregon, semi-rural, and, uh, you know, there's just a lot of stuff we run into. I do plumbing and I got a pest business and so with everything I do, I know how to do a lot of little knick-knacky things that a lot of people don't necessarily know how to do because they've just never been stuck in a situation where they had to figure it out. Um, and I've been doing that kind of stuff. So anyways, I hope this helps. Uh, I hope that this video was okay for you guys. Um, again, not sure uh, how much good content we got, but uh, if you did like it, please hit the like or subscribe button down below. Love it.